In those days, I, Daniel, heard this word of the Lord. At that time, there shall arise Michael, the great prince, guardian of your people. It shall be a time unsurpassed in distress since nations began until that time. At that time, your people shall escape, everyone who is found written in the book. Many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some shall live forever. Others shall be in everlasting horror and disgrace. But the wise shall shine brightly like the splendor of the firmament, and those who lead the many to justice shall be like the stars forever. The word of the Lord. In this passage from the book of Daniel, it's easy to see why the kingdom of Israel didn't like its prophets. I picture Daniel calling all the people together, saying that he heard the word of the Lord, and they're all sitting there anxiously awaiting how the Lord is going to help them. And what he says is there shall come a time unsurpassed in distress since nations began until that time. The kingdom of Israel will suffer more than ever before. I imagine at this point people starting to boo and throw things at him, saying that God's here to take away our suffering, not give us more. And we too can feel like this. Life is hard. There's times when we don't know how to deal with the distress and the sufferings in our life. And we look to God to help guide us through these difficult situations. We look to him to alleviate the suffering that we're going through. This reminds me of Christ in the Garden of Gethsemane, where he asked God, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. Even our Lord asks the Father to take away the suffering that he's about to endure. And as we all know, it was still the Father's will for Christ to die on the cross for us. Christ also tells us that we, as his disciples, will share in those sufferings. As James and John ask him if they can sit at his right and his left, Christ asks first if they can drink of the cup of which he drinks. And they naively respond, yes, they can. And our Lord responds by saying, yes, you will drink of this cup. But to sit in my right and my left is not mine to give, but the Father's. Again, Christ tells us that we will suffer and directs us towards the Father's will, not our own. We can and should continue to ask God to relieve us of our suffering. However, like Christ, we must realize that it is not our will, but the Father's will that we should seek. And in this way, God may not relieve us of our suffering, and we must trust that like Christ on the cross, we can glorify the Lord even more by continuing to trust Trust in him through the hardships of our life. We must have faith that the Lord has something greater in store for us. And this is exactly what I imagine Daniel saying, calming down the people from their booing, telling them that many of those who sleep in the dust shall awake, and some shall live forever. The wise shall shine brightly like the stars in the firmament, and those who lead the many to justice shall shine like the stars forever. This is what we too seek as Christians. As we say in the creed every Sunday, we desire the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. This is truly at the heart of our Christian identity. Christ did not tell us to hand over our sufferings and our cross to him. No, he told us quite simply that there will be a cross and we must pick up our cross and follow him into the kingdom of his father. Yeah.